The fallout continues over Whoopi Goldberg making bizarre and anti-Semitic statements about the Holocaust in which she suggested that Jews were white people. So white people fighting white people is basically no concern of hers. As I explained on the show, this is part of a broader intersectional theory of racism in which white people can never be victimized. They can only be the victimizers. Therefore, Jews cannot really have been the true victims of the Holocaust. Truly, the victims of the Holocaust were all of us because it was man's inhumanity toward man. So she was suspended for a couple of weeks by ABC News by, hilariously enough, Kim Godwin. So Godwin's law now applies. So she was suspended for a couple of weeks. And rightly, she is angry because here is the thing. She shouldn't really be suspended. She shouldn't. Her job is to give dumb opinions on the air to a bunch of low IQ fellow hosts. That is her job. And the the combined IQ of the four hosts on The View at any one time is generally below 300. So the fact that you have Whoopi Goldberg saying really dumb, uninformed stuff, that's just called The View. So really, she shouldn't be suspended. Now, I think that the standard the left has set up is that if you say a bad thing, you need to get fired. So she shouldn't just be suspended. According to the left, she should be fired. And here's my new standard. Here is my standard. My standard is I will now defend you from being fired. I will say that you should not be fired. And I will stand up for you and say you should not be fired if you are not a member of the cancel culture yourself. If you're a person who believes that people should be fired for the bad things, you get to eat it. Then I hope you are fired because you need to live by the rule that you make and you uphold and you are a member of the mob in upholding. Whoopi Goldberg is a cancel culture maven. She loves it. She loves when people lose their jobs for saying the wrong thing. So if she loses her job for saying the wrong thing, all I can say is justice has now applied. Now, if she wishes to not just apologize for her dumb comments and learn more about why she was wrong, but she also wishes to get over her own unearned moral superiority and determine that perhaps people who make mistakes or say bad things in public or people with whom she disagrees should not be deplatformed, then I am happy to welcome her into the cadre of classical liberals. Otherwise, she can burn. I don't care. Not only do I not care, I celebrate her going down. Now, she's not going to go down. And herein lies the irony, right? So ABC is the is the network that airs The View. ABC is also owned by Disney. Disney is the company that fired Gina Carano. Gina Carano was on Mandalorian. She was one of the stars of Mandalorian. And she put out a meme that suggested that man's inhumanity toward man during the Holocaust is can be extended as a lesson for lots of other people. And this was taken as anti-Semitism. She didn't say that Jews weren't specifically targeted, by the way. She didn't actually say an anti-Semitic thing the way that Whoopi Goldberg did. She just said that when people are inhumane to each other, bad things happen. She, for this great crime, she was not suspended. She was fired outright from The Mandalorian, losing presumably hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in salary because she was one of the main characters and they were considering a spinoff of The Mandalorian with Gina. They fired Gina, so we hired her. Right? We have a new movie that's coming out with Gina Carano in the next couple of months, which I'm excited to tell you about. Okay, but they fired her outright, did Disney. Whoopi Goldberg says something far worse in every respect than Gina Carano ever said about the Holocaust. And she's going to get a two-week suspension. And she's mad about being suspended for two weeks, as she should be. Because again, they're only mad when the rules apply to them. When the rules apply to everybody else, then they're happy. Mercy for my friends, the law for everyone else. So apparently, Whoopi is super mad. First of all, I'm amazed that it's taken people this long to recognize that it's pretty wild that Whoopi Goldberg who's not actually named Whoopi Goldberg, right? That's her stage name. Like, how is that not cultural appropriation, by the way? Just picking up a name like Goldberg. Apparently, the, the actual reason that Whoopi Goldberg picked up the name, Whoopi, her real name is Karen Johnson. Like the, and, and apparently, the, the way that she picked up that name is she was looking for a stage name. And so she called herself on stage Whoopi Cushion. I'm not kidding you, this is back in the 80s. She called herself Whoopi Cushion, and her mom said to her, you need something that stands out more. And so she picked Whoopi Goldberg because she knew about the inherent oddity of a black woman calling herself Goldberg. And also Goldberg meant not white. She didn't call herself Whoopi Smith or something. She didn't call herself, you know, Whoopi Thompson. She, she called herself Whoopi Goldberg because the idea was that this was very odd. In any case, this led to the most hilarious defense of Whoopi Goldberg. Al Franken suggesting Whoopi Goldberg is not anti-Semitic because... Her last name is Goldberg. Okay, then. Al Franken, go ahead. I know Whoopi. She's not anti-Semitic. She she chose Goldberg for her last name, for her stage name. She, I think she gave a really fulsome and sincere apology. Um, I think what she said uh, wasn't quite what she uh meant and uh i thought it was great that she had the 
they had the Anti-Defamation League. They had the Anti-Defamation League on. Uh, I don't know how they've handled uh, other uh, guests or uh, hosts on that show before, uh, but uh, I was uh, I was very taken with how sincere and fulsome the apology was. Oh, were you, Al? It's funny how, how quick they are to accept apologies when it's members of their own side and how... The, uh, Again, I'm perfectly willing to accept Whoopi Goldberg's apology. And I think she should learn some things and get out of her own intersectional mindset. I think that would be a good thing. But if I, I'm not going to accept apologies from people who refuse to accept apologies from anybody else. This does not work only one way. I, I, I do love Al Franken suggesting that because she adopted, because she culturally appropriated the name Goldberg, this means she's not anti-Semitic. Okay, then. First of all, I'd love to see him apply that logic to, say, the Cleveland Indians. And the same people on the left were like, Hey, if Whoopi Goldberg says her last name is Goldberg, this means she probably likes Jews. I like Cleveland Indians. It's because they hate Indians. Like, never look for consistency with the left. It is all just a game of power. In any case, Goldberg apparently is livid and feels humiliated over the suspension. She feels ABC executives mishandled this. She followed their playbook. She went on the late show with Stephen Colbert and then apologized again on The View the next day, the source told The Post. Her ego has been hurt. She's telling people she's going to quit. Suspension from The View is like getting suspended from Bravo. The bar is very low. Prior to her suspension, sources that spoke with Page Six said that employees and executives, including insiders at Disney, were furious over her remarks and the fact she had not been disciplined yet. One insider told Page Six the controversy was not just going to blow over. According to that insider, ABC staffers and Disney Network execs are saying Whoopi went way too far and board members are not happy with her apology and want a fuller retraction. The word is that Whoopi is in deep bleep, said the ABC insider. Why does Whoopi seemingly get a pass when others don't? Perhaps this time she won't. Many at the network, including her fellow hosts, believe Whoopi is too controversial now for the show. That's that's not true. She's going to be back in two weeks. The purpose of the two week break, by the way, is to protect her from media questions. That's what it's about. That's why they're suspending her. They're not making her publicly available. They're not going to make her go into interviews with people who actually know something about this topic. They trotted out Jonathan Greenblatt from the ADL so that he could exonerate her and exorcise her demons on air after having screwed up, by the way, his own redefinition of racism. Well, Jonathan Greenblatt, inside of the last couple of months, redefined racism from, you know, thinking poorly of somebody based solely on their race to white people harming people of color. That was literally the ADL's redefinition of racism. Whoopi Goldberg then took that redefinition of racism, ran with it. And then when things went sideways, when the train ran off the rails, like the fugitive tracking down Harrison Ford, jumping into a ditch. Once that happened, then she brought Jonathan Greenblatt back on to explain why Whoopi Goldberg was fine. By the way, this is so bad for the ADL that the ADL now had to revise its own racism definition again. They went back to it. So it used to define racism as, quote, the belief that a particular race is superior or inferior to another, that a person's social and moral traits are predetermined by his or her inborn biological characteristics, and which is normally the definition of racism. Then they switched it in July 2020 to mirror Black Lives Matter. Racism now meant, quote, the marginalization and or oppression of people of color based on a socially constructed racial hierarchy that privileges white people. By that definition, by the way, the Holocaust was not racism. Also, the Genocide against the Uyghur Muslims in, in China is not racist or anything else. So now they've changed it again. So now it says racism occurs when individuals or institutions show more favorable evaluation or treatment of an individual or group based on race or ethnicity. So the, uh, the new definition makes some more sense. But the definition of systemic racism is still bad over at the ADL website because they haven't shifted back over from the woke definition. So they say that institutional racism and systemic racism can only exist if they are targeting black people, basically. So the ADL is, has, has made a mockery of itself along this process. I, I will say, I'm enjoying this period of all masks coming off and all veils being revealed. I, I really am enjoying this. Like all of these organizations that pretended that they were about one thing actually are about another thing. The ADL, which was supposed to be an anti-Semitism fighting organization, is just a woke left organization. Black Lives Matter, which was supposed to be about forwarding the aspirations of black Americans was actually just a giant grift. So bad that the Black Lives Matter organization apparently has reportedly been suspended from receiving donations in the state of California because it was such a grift and nobody knows where the money is going. Whoopi Goldberg has been exposed for what she is. Jeff Zucker has been exposed for what he is. Andrew Cuomo has been exposed for what he is. Chris Cuomo has been, like, I'm enjoying it. I mean, when all the masks come off, it's good times all around. We're in a battle for the culture and for our values. Like and subscribe to help keep our videos on the front line of the fight and top of your feed.